Hey, Dad, look. I got this cool stocking. Do you see it? I got the same stocking. How are we supposed to tell them apart? We better embroider our names on it. Let's get to it. So embroidering stockings can be kind of challenging because there's not a whole lot of space to get your hoop around here, unless you're using the very small hoop, um, but also because of the type of material that is usually up top uh, in this little fleece part. So it can be somewhat challenging. We're going to try to attempt to do some embroidery on, on these. The first thing that we're going to do is unstitch one of the sides here because we'll end up restitching that after we do the embroidery and we need to get our big hoop on here in order to put our names. So ready to get to it? Yeah, let's get designing. We're in Inkscape. And we're gonna use our four by four template because we're gonna use our four by four hoop. Make this a little bit bigger. All right, so this is gonna be pretty much the most simple project we've ever done on Inkscape, huh? We're just gonna use a lettering tool and put our name. Mm -hmm. What kind of font would you like? Um, I want a very, like, cursive. That one seems good. Yeah. Very nice. Apply and quit. And we will have to shrink it down. We're going to hit Control. So it doesn't warp. And we're going to make it as big as possible. And just like that. Should we change the density at all in perhaps? I don't think we need to. I think we're gonna stick with our default params, but uh, let's see what that is. Stitch params. I keep forgetting we have shortcuts for this stuff. So I think this would be okay as is, but if we did wanna make this more dense, we would just adjust this spacing here. And when we do puff embroidery, we normally use like a point uh, two, right? You can see it makes it much more dense. Yeah, stitch. I think that might be too much. Yeah, it might be too much for that type of material we're using. So go ahead and keep this at a point three. I mean, unless you wanted to use pup embroidery on this project. That'd actually be kind of cool. All right, let's do puff embroidery. Um, going to do 0 0.25. I'm just worried about the material that is on there. And we're, we're going to use red thread, right? Yeah. Okay. That looks good to me. All right. Apply and quit. And we're going to save this. Normally save it as a zip file because we're going to save it as a PES and SVG. It just makes it a little bit easier. Yours is done. Now I'm just going to delete yours and make mine. Actually, let's keep yours for size reference. We're going to use this seam ripper to undo the stitches on one of the sides here. Not all the way, just enough that we can get our 4x4 four four hoop around uh, this little section here so that we can put our design on it big enough like we want it, right? Yeah. Let's get rid of this. Flip this inside out. And then I'm just going to undo little seam here. Tear away stabilizer.
I think it was a good idea to end up using puff because if we didn't, it would be probably really sunken in. I agree. It actually turned out really nice and we didn't have to take a lighter to it, which is nice because I don't know how that would do with a lighter on it, probably not well. So glad it turned out really well. Honestly, I'm really glad we ended up doing pumpkin burger. Yeah. We didn't know if it was going to sink in too much without it, but this actually has pretty good results. Mm -hmm. So I really hope you enjoyed this craftness installment. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like it if you liked it. Like it. Subscribe if you enjoy our content. Subscribe. And turn on those notifications so you get my every single time we post a video. Stay crafty. And be happy. Bye.